put these down. And Kira, could you hand me those uh, squeezers? Thank you, ma'am. Then we're going to make a little break right here. Get a little crunch. I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> and here's, here's where the otoliths are. They're right here. There's one right here. There's one right here. Okay, so I'm going to take this one out and put it here on my hand. And this one broke a little bit. And for some reason, maybe it's the way I do this, but invariably this side almost always cracks a little bit. So those are the two otoliths. Now we're done with the fish. And if we have time, we may open the fish up a little more and look at the different body parts. But we're going we're gonna to put this under the microscope here and see if we can tell how old this fish is. Three rings. Okay. Raise your hand. Three. How many saw four rings? A lot of four rings. I'm going to look at this one more time because I thought I saw three. Y'all may be right. <laughs> Okay, you've got the little dot in the middle, that's not a ring, then you have one, two, three rings. So well, it, I thought I saw six or seven. If it was three rings. Are they white or black? They're white. The rings are white, okay? And we can you go back through and look at it again here a little bit. Now listen real close. We had three rings on the fish. So if the fish was born in February, which probably was, it won't form a ring until the following April or May. So if this fish has three rings, he's actually four years old. So the guys and gals that said four were, were right when they were guessing the age of that. And it's real important for us to know how old the fish is, just like it is for us to know how old you guys are so that we know what's going on with the fish population. With a fish this size that's four years old, that's kind of average growth rates. That's kind of what we'd like to see. But it'd be nice if it was a little bigger, being four years old, but it, that's, that's good. But I've seen fish that big that were two years old, and I've seen fish that big that were 10 years old. They kind of grow differently, kind of like you guys do, okay? And some of you may get to be as tall as I am one day, but you just don't keep on growing. We don't have 20 foot tall people, right? So at some point this fish is gonna to get to the, about as big as it's gonna grow and then that's it. And that's another reason we need to know how old it is because at some point it's not gonna continue growing. And a five year old fish will be sometimes the same length as a 10 year old. That's a striper. Yeah, nice big one. What is this, a game? Or? Just do a little knot tying. Knot tying? Oh, look at that. I'm learning more than teaching. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, I've tied a bowling a lot, and I've I've looked at a, I've looked at the bowling and, uh, instructions, and but every time I get ready to tie one, I can't remember how to tie it. So, yeah, what is, what's the little story about over the the, the, the rabbit in the hole, et cetera, et cetera? And, Make the rabbit hole with the rope on the top. Come up, That's a good one. around the stump, and back through. That's it. Or you can, it, whatever, you go the opposite of where the rope is laying. That's if, what I always have a problem yeah. with. If it's on top, you come up. If it's on the bottom. When you say the rope, you mean the, the free end, end of the rope. This end here. Oh, See, the, the, the standing part. The standing part of the rope. So, if it's on top, you go through, up over, and back through. And you tie it opposite. But typically, if you pick up your rope and just twist it one time, either way, I, I go, I twist away from me typically. So, I'm going to go up. Around and back down the rabbit. And you can take this and another nice knot I was showing the kids a while ago with he was talking about rock climbing. Uh, make a double bolt. If you got a double loop of rope, you, you just do everything double. And this is good with heavy rope. You make your bowling. Oh, mm -hmm. and you end up with a quasi boatsman chair. So you can sit in this one and lean back in this if you're rope climbing. You know, and it goes, it goes here and back here. Yeah. You just pull, you're pulling somebody out or something. Yeah. Well, it's helping them come up an incline. Thanks, Skip. Yeah.